I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. I don't have anything on me. Really? You got all the way here without any weapons? Lost them. I don't believe you. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. You shouldn't lie. Sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. You fucked up. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later. In the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. It's more complicated than that. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night. So you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. It was impossible to save him. To save them both. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. That's not the whole story. The whole story? How could 
you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> smell good. Yeah, I know. Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay.
gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. safe. 